Well, hello everyone and welcome to Flatweb TV, the only monthly DMX Flatland freestyle show on the internet. My name is Justin Hoey. And I'm Anthony Bulio. And welcome to episode 25 of Flatweb TV, season three. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. Ed. Cheers. Yeah. Well, it's a new year, it's a new season, and um, we've got a new format. Slight change of things, but uh, hopefully everybody likes it, a little faster pace. I think so. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to start out with our first story, which is going to be about, uh, these first stories will be contests or jams. The first one is about a couple of them. It's the announcement of the AM, the new AMFLAT circuit in 2013. Yeah. It's going to be good. So let's go through the, the contest. Our first one is going to be the Flatland Unlimited 9 um, in Toronto. I think yep. we're all very well of that contest. It's going to be on March 3rd. Stop number two, Anarchy and Anderson. Number Second two. Second time, yeah. And that's going to be on June 22nd. We've got round three. It was Tuner Evolution. And that's going to be uh, August 3rd. Philly. <laughs> Never been there. Yeah. Is it a nice place? It's awesome. Awesome. And uh, finally, round four is going to be the Texas Flatland Roundup, number nine. And uh, that's going to be in October. Don't know for sure if it's going to be in conjunction with uh, Texas Toast, but it was last year, so you never know. Why not? It was a heck of a heck of a weekend. Yeah. So, Anthony, uh, any thoughts? Yeah. Um, I think this just proves that, you know, with grassroots effort, you can build a contest series uh, in North America. The Canadian scene is strong, the, the United States scene is getting stronger, and people travel to these contests and the points matter, and you saw last year, I mean, right down to the Texas contest, the finale, um, it was close. You know, in, in AM, Expert, Pro, all those classes were hotly contested, so uh, just cheers to those guys for, for doing it, and cheers to the riders for supporting it. I, had, I only went to one, but it was, it was the most fun I had last year. Awesome. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of contests, so head on over to amflatlandcircuit.com to check out all the details and go to all of those contests if you can. Yeah. So Anthony, you've got our next story. Yeah, the next one's about uh, kind of a rider sponsorship thing, and I don't know if too many people saw it coming, but uh, Haro Bikes, you know, last year they put Dennis McCoy on the Legends team, which I thought was an awesome idea. Yeah. Um, he's still well involved in the scene. Uh, now we've got Matthias Dandois as a factory Harl rider. He's riding the Dennis Anderson uh, mm -hmm. SD V2 frame. It's a 20.8 top tube, so more his style, larger, more room, bigger uh, frame, rugged frame. Yep. Um, and as a brand ambassador, I mean, you've got folks like Terry Adams who, who knows how to represent a brand very well, and Matthias who just travels everywhere. I mean, I think it's a perfect fit for Harl. I wholeheartedly agree, and, and we were talking about this earlier, but uh, Matthias really does a good job of really bridging that gap between you know the, the flatland world and the, the street world of today. You know, many kids are, you know, as you're starting to ride, you're doing a lot of different things, and I think he's going to do a great job bringing that next generation of flatland riders um, to the scene. Well, at uh, the Lumberyard Skate Park here in Portland, how many times do we see uh, the street guys come down and just practice hang fives? Uh, more so than I ever have. Every session. So uh, I think it's a great move for Haro, a great move for Matthias. He's, he's out there and it's just going to do good things for BMX in general. Absolutely. Yeah. Dum dum, little dum dum, little dum dum, little dum dum. There was a trail by the name of Bert. And Bert the turtle was very alert. When danger threatened him, he never got hurt. He knew just what to do. He ducked and cover. Ducked and cover. All right, our next story is a parts story, and the part in question is one uh, that maybe has the biggest love hate relationship with Flatlanders. Uh, I would agree with you. You know, I think about all the parts over the years that I've despised. Whether it was my brakes, my rotor detangler, whatever you want to call it. Um, my very, very first part that I had the most frustration with as a Flatlander was my free coaster. Yeah. And uh, many of the free coasters over the years have caused me a lot of grief. But I think there is hope on the horizon. There's some, some new details um, and a new hub that's actually released, the Ezra free coaster. Yeah. Um, so this is pretty cool. Now, this isn't just a free coaster. It is also a cassette, so you do can run it in free coaster mode or in cassette mode, um, and it's really, really cool. This is one of the most innovative hubs that, that I've seen. 
Um, there's a great little uh, breakdown uh, from bmxer.de that shows the internals of this thing. So yeah. you can see that it's got some great technology uh, behind it from free coasters, but also like the pause from the cassettes. Exactly. So some really great stuff. Um, it's been released in very limited quantities. So if you see one, get one, because they're going to be hard to come by, it sounds like. Um, and just a quick rundown on some of the other specs. You're going to be able to get it in black, red, gold, blue, or purple. Um, it's got a 14 millimeter hollow axle, uh, nine tooth driver, and it comes in at 470 grams, which is a little bit lighter than the new KHE Greyhound free coaster. Which was already pretty light. It was. And uh, Anthony, what, what, what do you think of this new uh, new free coaster? Uh, well, you know what? If, if it lives up to the hype, I mean... I think Namkai has been kind of the gold standard, um, but if this one lives up to the way the video looks and the, the technology and the engineering built into it, then I think we might have a, a new favorite free coaster. Um, the simplicity, I think Vane BMX did a, did a video on how you switch from free coaster to cassette. The simplicity with how you do that, I would be willing to try that. And I never want to open a hub in my life. So uh, I'm really excited about it. I think if I can get my hands on one, I don't know how these guys that are posting on Facebook got one. Steve Lapsley, I'm talking to you. Um, but I would love to try one out. So if there's an extra one floating out there, send it our way, we'll, we'll lace it up and give it a try. Mm -hmm. But I think regardless, when it becomes available, I, I might look into it. I, I think I, was, I will also. Uh, I've been needing a new hub. The current hub that I have right now um, is not working well. Right. You've seen me very frustrated with it several times. Yes. So. Um, if you're looking for more information on it, um, bmxer.de looks like they have some for sale. I'm not sure if there's other ones in North America that are set for sale. Right. So us over here across the pond can get a hold of one. Um, but there's a great write-up on bmxunion.com for sure to uh, fill the void until you do get one. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be available soon as soon as uh, you know the, the buzz gets too big. Absolutely. Yeah. So. We've got uh, one more story for you, which is an interview that you did, Anthony. Right. Uh, continuing with our pro series interview, which I like to call it, um, I, I just fall into these things. I'm so lucky uh, sometimes. Um, I was over in Japan over the holidays uh, to visit my in-laws, and I had uh, one day, just one day that we planned to go riding with uh, Russia, um, and it poured. It rained buckets that day. Sorry. Uh, yeah, me too. Um, so I didn't get to ride, but we decided to meet up anyway and have lunch, which is always great to, to hang out with Russia and his wife, Chica. Um, but they happened to bring along a guest, this guy named uh, York Uno. What? what, what? Yes. <laughs> so um, I had my camera with me, I had all my gear, and uh, York was up for it. So we did a little impromptu video, a uh, little interview, I mean, and uh, talked about everything, uh, his involvement in Aries, his riding, his uh, BMX school uh, exploits. So we will be compiling all of that interview footage uh, this week and putting it out uh, for viewing next week. But uh, what a nice guy. I mean, I couldn't have been more relaxed with him. He was so cool and, I mean, it's York Uno. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I mean, I remember there was a short time when he was living in Seattle, Washington, and I was like, oh my God, I want to go up there and ride with him. Never worked out, yeah. uh, but uh, still, uh, I was, I'm was i super jealous that you got to meet up and ride with him. Fun fact or about interview. that Seattle gig he was uh, a sales rep for Diatech. Ah, okay that makes that makes a little sense. Yeah, that makes, he told that me makes he didn't sense. speak any English but he knew the specs so he knew how to sell the brakes and whatnot. Um, that's, that's pretty cool. And it obviously helped because he's now uh, you know at Aries and, and doing product design and development and marketing all that so you know pretty successful BMX career. That's, uh, that's pretty great. So I uh, look forward to the interview coming out next week on uh, flatwebtv.com. Uh, it's fun. It'll be sh uh, nice and short. Um, but yeah, what a nice guy. Awesome. All right. With that, that's it for episode number 25. And uh, we thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out the video on all the places, Vimeo, YouTube, iTunes, pretty much wherever. And uh, make sure to share it with your friends on Facebook and on Twitter. Yeah. So with that, my name is Justin Hoey. I'm Anthony Bulio. And this was Flatweb TV.